planning is to shield mains or protect generator especially distributed generator from damage which can be caused by islanding or any significant unbalancing in power system either results in load damage or dgs Islanding is a condition in which the part of the grid or main grid is disconnected from the system and the whole system is continuously supplied by distributed generator or a small scale generator. Rate of change of frequency works on the slope by taking the derivative of this frequency and it can detect small power imbalances quickly. The model of the relay is based on four main blocks and it depends on these block parameters. First block is frequency estimation. Input of this block is a voltage waveform which is obtained by PCC means point of common coupling. This is the point where main grid is connected with distributed generator. The second block parameter is calculation of frequency slope or hertz per second calculation. Rockoff relay basically works on the slope of frequency, not at the magnitude of frequency. This feature makes it more sensible and hence it can detect small changes in power, which results in change of frequency. A small power imbalancing can be detected by Rockoff. A low pass filter is used to remove transient from the system uh, at the point of common coupling that can cause unnecessary tripping. This is the third man block. And finally, a threshold is fixed called Rockoff settings depends on the location of the relay. For frequency estimation, phase lock loop technique is used and the DF over DT calculation is made by the model and the output is compared with the threshold. Power system frequency is kept 50 Hz, that is the normal condition. If this frequency changes within plus minus 0.5 Hz range, it will restrain. And when it exceeds band plus minus 0.5 Hz, thus will operate. After overall discussion about the introduction of islanding and structure of the relay, the performance of the relay is analyzed by simulating it with the power system. This is our power system which we have designed on MATLAB Simulink and uh, this branch is uh, mentioned the uh, source, main source or main grid and this is micro grid, this is also a micro grid and its system consists of 4 loads, load 1, 2, 3 and 4 and also consists of 2 synchronous generators SG1 and SG2 and uh, two relays, uh, two Rokoff relays, uh, relay 1 and relay 2 and these are installed at synchronous generator site. When circuit breaker opens from the main grid, which uh, is a desired condition to create islanding as in 0.2 seconds, uh, this will isolate the main grid from the system. And now the system consists of a synchronous generator, uh, and synchronous generator becomes uh, overloaded. So to avoid this condition, the relay should operate and uh, to uh, and isolate the synchronous generator from the system. Uh, the simulation is held in point, uh, four point, uh, for 3 seconds and uh, we can check the result in uh, relay, local of relay. This is a trip system, subsys, uh, trip signal subsystem and this is a frequency subsystem and uh, we can check frequency subsystem uh, block. We have used PLL technique for frequency extraction and for DF or DT calculation and uh, from here we have extracted frequency. And uh, the next block is the comparison system in which we have defined the limits 49.5 and 40 and minimum limits and maximum is 50.5. We can check the response in the scope and uh, waiting for the response. Let's check. This is the result. Uh, which we can see in a scope and when uh, fre frequency exceeds band 50.5 which is the uh, set limit and uh, it will issue a trip signal uh, by the relay as we we can see in the in this graph so uh, relay works properly and uh, and it can detect islanding condition and it have detected islanding condition in our system 
and now we will check some responses like speed response and power imbalances in the system in, uh, in the synchronous generator let's wait for the uh, scope the first graph shows the speed which is uh, gradually decrease when idling condition or power and balancing occurs then uh, it will come into its normal position and second graph is the mechanical power uh, which we uh, which is going to be minimum or zero and this is the field voltage and this is the uh, terminal voltage which is also going to zero power imbalance will also be zero uh, this is because uh, when the energy isolated from the system it will uh, not uh, generate any type of power so this is our learning condition which we have uh, proved in our system